the heavily pregnant Duchess of Sussex, and the Duke headed to the glittering district in the capital to watch a musical based on Tina Turner's songs. The cast of Tina, the musical, were excited to reveal the royal couple saw their performance during the weekend. Publishing a black and white picture of Meghan and Harry holding hands, the cast wrote on Instagram and Twitter, we were thrilled and honored to welcome the Duke and Duchess of Sussex to the show last night. Number teen of the musical Meghan and Harry watched the performance at the Aldwych Theatre, where the production debuted almost one year ago, on March 21, 2018. Meghan Markle not changing Prince Harry He was always going to Meghan Markle and Prince Harry to use nurturing way of carrying baby Adrian Warren, who was personally selected by Tina Turner to play her role in the show, said she was honored to have performed in front of them. She wrote on Twitter, they said they'd come and they did. Thank you to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. It was an honor to have the opportunity to perform for you again, read Moore, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's secret visit to see Doria Ragland in Los Angeles revealed Meghan also met Ms. Warren and her co-star Tom Godwin at the end of the performance, according to the show's website. Meghan and Harry's visit to the West End was private and unexpected, according to royal commentator Ahmed Scobie. He wrote on Twitter, date night for Prince Harry and Duchess Meghan on Saturday, March 2. A show source tells me their visit was private, unexpected and that they thoroughly enjoyed themselves. Meghan Markle News, Duchess of Sussex reveals her guilty pleasure Meghan and Harry to have three children, Princess Diana Psychic says the Duchess's passion for the theatre is well known and was crowned when she became the patron of the National Theatre earlier this year, inheriting the role directly from Queen Elizabeth II. And the former actress is not new to performances in London either. In December, Prince Harry and Meghan went to see Hamilton an award-winning play she had already seen twice before, once in August with her husband and before that in New York with her close friend Priyanka Chopra. Meghan and Harry returned on Monday night last week from their royal visit to Morocco, what is believed to have been one of the Duchess's last official duties, before she goes on maternity leave. While Kensington Palace has remained vague over the Little Sussex due date, Meghan shared some details with fans. In mid-January, during a visit to Birkenhead in Whirl, Merseyside, the Duchess told fans she was six months pregnant and that she would be expecting the royal baby to arrive towards the end of April or the very beginning of May. This means that Meghan and Harry's firstborn may end up sharing their birthday with one of two beloved royals Queen Elizabeth II, who was born on April 21, or Princess Charlotte, whose birthday falls on May 2. And the fact that the Duchess of Sussex doesn't have any other flights planned in the foreseeable future hints at the fact she is approaching her 37th week of pregnancy.